welcome to our 7 a.m. Friday said Mass with hymns. Holy Mass begins on page 101 in your Red Books of Common Prayer. We kindly ask that wherever you are, you take some time to join us now in this act of praise and worship to Almighty God and to make your spiritual communion. The hymn, number five in the CPWIH, that's our blue hymnal, number five. Lord God, Lamb of God, 
you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, whom truly to know is everlasting life, grant us so perfectly to know your Son, Jesus Christ, to be the way, the truth, and the life, that we may steadfastly follow his steps in the way that leads to eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, he is one God, forever and ever. Amen. We sit now to listen to God's holy word. A reading from the word of God, written in Acts of the Apostles, chapter 15, verses 22. 31. Then the apostles and the elders, with the consent of the whole church, decided to choose men from among their members, and to send them to Antioch with Paul and Barnabas. They sent Judas, called Barnabas, and Silas, leaders among the brothers, with the following letter. The brothers, both the apostles and the elders, to the believers of Gentile origin, and Antioch and Syria and Cilicia, three days. Since we have heard that certain persons who have gone on from, from us, though with no instructions from us, have said things to disturb you and have unsettled your minds, we have decided anonymously. Anim to choose representatives and send them to you, along with our beloved Barnabas and Paul, who have risked their lives for the sake of our Lord Jesus Christ. We have therefore sent Judas and Silas, who themselves will tell you the same things by word of mouth, for that seemed good to the Holy Spirit, and to us to impose on you no further burden than these essentials, that you abstain from what has been sacrificed to the idols, and from blood, and from what is strangled, and from fornication. If you keep yourselves from these, you will do well. Farewell. So they were sent off the men down to Antioch. When they gathered the congreg congregation together, they delivered the letter. When its members spread it, they rejoiced at the exhortation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 57, verses 6 through 11. Exalt yourself above the heavens, O God. And your glory over all the earth. My heart is firmly fixed, O oh God, my heart is fixed. I will sing and make melody. Wake up, my spirit, awake, lewd and harp. I myself awake in the dawn. I will confess you among the peoples, O oh Lord. I will sing praise to you among the nations. For your loving kindness is greater than the heavens, and your faithfulness reaches to the clouds. Exalt yourself above the heavens, O God, and your glory over all the earth. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Wherever you are, we ask that you come. 
kindly stand for the reading of the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you, and also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to John. Glory to Christ our Savior. By the words of the Holy Gospel, may all our sins be blotted out. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, than to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I do not call you servants any longer, because the servant does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends, because I have made known to you everything that I have heard from my Father. You did not choose me, but I chose you, and I appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, so that the Father will give you whatever you ask him in my name. I am giving you these commands, so that you may love one another. This is the gospel of Christ. Praise to Christ our Lord. Please be seated for a few minutes. Certainly this morning we hear the theme in the gospel about the word love. And it mentions greater love. It mentions that love is a command given by Jesus. And as we go through this global pandemic, we think of the word love. And if we stop and analyze and pause and think about what love is, it's more than just saying that we're giving out some groceries or giving out some soup because we can do all of these things and still have malice and hatred in our hearts or puffed up pride to simply say we are doing something rather than doing it from our hearts. So the question this morning to think about is what is love? What is this greater love that God commands us to do so that others would know who we are? In the 1960s, by Jackie DeShannon, a song came out that was a huge hit. And then it became a hit again in the 1970s by a person named Dion Warwick. And the Hal David lyrics asserted these words, and I quote, What the world needs now is love, sweet love. No, not just for some, but for everyone, end quote. Even if you were not born in the 1960s or 70s, the song was a hit in either decade, and chances are you now know the tune and at least some of the words. There was another song by Tina Turner that said, What does love have to do with it? got to do with it. Love is nothing but a second-hand emotion. Is it? Yes, that may be sentimental and sad. But perhaps these two songs, such hits, became powerful because of the powerful truth they expressed. What the world needs now more than ever is love. We have churches and can't go in them. We have schools and cannot attend them. And so what can we do? Yes, worship God, love God, read your Bible, pray every day, things we're supposed to be doing long before this pandemic started. But now more than ever we can work on this command, this command to go and bear fruit 
this command that says we must love one another as he loved us because truly there is no greater love than God's love and we ought to be channels as we say at our offertory prayer channels of his love in our community in our world we do live in a lost and hurting world people run to addictions and entertainment to numb their pain. But the heartfelt cry of every human being is to be loved. We all want to be loved. Loved by family, loved by friends, loved by influential people in our lives. But today the gospel reminds us that God first loved us. You didn't choose him. He chose you. He loved you first. And our response is simply to love God. Love our neighbors and love ourselves. How real is God's love in your life? How is God's love shared? How do you do it? Well, it's simple. From the heart, from the words and from the service of God's people. In a time like this, this is when God's church is supposed to show the greatest miracle of all, love. For it was God's love that drew us closer to Him. And so that same love should draw others closer to Him as well. And then, that is what will make love happen, as the song says, what the world needs now is love. So by us loving God and others, and yes, even ourselves, we will make love, not just for some, but for everyone. A gentleman by the name of Roland Allen said these words. Missionary zeal does not grow out of intellectual beliefs, nor out of theological arguments, but out of love. I pray today that God would give us a heart that longs to reach out to others with his love. So that we in turn may know that we are loved by God. Thanks be to God. Wherever you are, please stand for the Apostles' Creed. Would we believe as Christians? Found on page 106 in your red books of common prayer. Together, we profess, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our intercessions this morning will be prayed using Form B found on page 107. Let us pray. Father, we pray for your holy Catholic Church that we all may be one. Grant that every member of the church 
may truly and humbly serve you. That your name may be glorified by all people. We pray for all bishops, priests, and deacons. That they may be faithful ministers of your word and sacraments. We pray for all who govern and hold authority in the nations of the world. That there may be justice and peace on the earth. Give us grace to do your will in all that we undertake. That our works may find favor in your sight. Have, have compassion on those who suffer from any grief or trouble. That they may be delivered from their distress. Give to the departed eternal rest. Let my perpetual shine upon them. We praise you for your saints who have entered into joy. May we also come to share in your heavenly kingdom. Let us pray for our needs and those of others.
presentation of our offering we use form A. Through your goodness, Lord, we have this bread and wine to offer. The fruit of the earth and the work of human hands, they will become our spiritual food. All things come from you, O Lord, and of your own do we give you. Blessed be God forever. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father Almighty, everlasting God. But chiefly are we bound to praise you for the glorious resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. For he is the true pastoral lamb who was sacrificed for us and has taken away the sin of the world. By his death, he has destroyed death. And by his rising to life again, he has won for us eternal life. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Eucharistic Prayer Form A found on page 131 in your Red Books of Common Prayer. Wherever you are, please kneel or bow your heads reverently and join us in this sacred moment. Holy and glorious Father, our Creator God, we give you thanks because in your loving wisdom you brought all things into being and you are truly worthy of praise from every creature you have made. Again and again we have turned away from you, yet in every age your steadfast love has called us to return to live in union with you, for it is your eternal purpose to put new life into all things and make them holy. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, who took our human nature upon him, you have redeemed the world from the bondage of sin, and by the power of your Holy Spirit, you have gathered a people to yourself to make known in every place his perfect offering which he made to the glory of your name. Hear us, therefore, Father, through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and grant that these gifts of bread and wine may be unto us his body and blood. For on the night that he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it. And gave it to his disciples and said, Take this and eat it. This is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Using 
made children of God. He is our hope of glory. And so, Heavenly Father, rejoicing in His holy incarnation, His blessed passion, and His perfect sacrifice made once for all upon the cross, His mighty resurrection from the dead, His glorious ascension into heaven, and looking for His coming in glory, we offer it to you this bread and this cup. We pray that you will accept this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, and grant that all who eat and drink of the body and blood of your Son, our great High Priest, may be renewed by your Holy Spirit and be one body, one spirit in Him. Let faith and love increase in us. Unite us with all bishops, all other ministers of your word and sacraments, and with the people of God living and departed, whom you have made for yourself. Confirm us in holiness that we may be found ready to join the company of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the holy apostles, and all your saints when our Lord Jesus Christ comes again, forever giving you thanks and praise through him from whom all good things do come. With him, and in him, and through him, by the power of the Holy Spirit, we worship you, Father Almighty, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven, in song of everlasting praise. Blessing and honor and glory and power be yours forever and ever. Amen. On page 144, as our Savior has taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our sins, and we will give those who will be in us. Save us from the time of trials, and deliver us from the evil, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours.
For those of you at home who now cannot receive Jesus physically, we ask that you take the time now to receive him through your spiritual communion. You are invited to pray with me. In union, dear Lord, with the faithful at every altar of your church, where your blessed body and blood are being offered to the Father, I now desire to offer you praise and thanksgiving. I believe that you are truly present in the Holy Sacrament, and since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. I unite myself to you and embrace you with all the affections of my soul. Let me never be separated from you. Let me live and die in your love. Come, Lord Jesus, dwell in your servant, in the fullness of your strength, in the perfection of your ways, and in the holiness of your spirit, and rule over every hostile power in the might of your spirit, and to the glory of your Father. Amen. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve our bodies and souls unto everlasting life. Amen.
the hymn at communion, 591, 591. in the name of Christ. 